Hey guys, have you thought of how you're going to grow your YouTube channel in 2020? Well, in this video, I have a few tips and tricks that might be able to help you coming up right after this. Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is a channel where, where I kind of vlog about uh, outdoors and fitness, staying fit, uh, trying to enjoy your life. Uh, but in today's instance, I'm doing a video kind of maybe that would help more people of how to start their, their uh, YouTube channel in 2020 and, and basically what to expect, right? So the first thing to expect is is if you're going to make this decision to start your YouTube channel, stay consistent. Stay consistent with, with what you're putting out. Try to make it every week. You make one video per week. That's 52 videos in a year's time uh, just by putting one video out a week. That's pretty good, right? So staying, staying consistent. Staying consistent and, and just plugging away. Don't worry about how many views. Uh, you know, the only thing you should worry about is every video that you do, you're trying to get better and better and better and better. Um, I wouldn't worry about the views. I mean, I know for myself, I look at them a little bit. The one thing that I go, I say, man, they're not as much as I wish they were, but I keep getting more and more views every video that I put out and I just try to be consistent. And so, uh, I just started this channel a few months back. I really haven't given myself much of a chance as far as uh, my channel's not huge yet, but this is the research that I've been doing. One of the things that I've, I was doing whenever I started this YouTube channel was I was like, okay, how can I grow and, and what, what do I need to do to grow? And this is, so this, everything that I'm giving you is, is basically stuff that I researched that I've been trying myself. So like I said, staying consistent is, is the, the most important thing is just give your, just be consistent. The second thing is, is giving yourself a chance. So to be consistent is very important, but giving yourself a chance. So, you know, if you just do like 10 videos and, you, and you're bummed out because you're not the next Logan Paul, well, you didn't really give yourself a chance. That was 10 videos. You have to, you know, give yourself a couple years. Give yourself a couple years. Give yourself a goal of how many videos you want to do in those couple years. Uh, I know for me this year of, of 2020, I want to try to get 60 in. 60 videos in by the end of the year. Uh, after that, I want to bump it up to probably about 100. So I basically almost want to double the amount of videos that I do in a year. Um, but you know, as I'm figuring this out and trying to trying to get it all figured out, I, f I figured I'd give myself a chance as far as, you know, uh, I don't want to be one of those guys that go to the gym and, and hasn't worked out in 10 years and says, dude, we're going to lift all the weights. And then they go and try to lift all the weights and they are so sore the next day that they never go back to the gym. I want to be the guy that says, hey man, I'm going to start out slow and I'm going to try to get better and better and better and better as we go and go from there. So that's me giving myself a chance, right? I'm, I'm, I, I mean, even 60 videos in a year is kind of a lot. I mean, honestly, it all adds up. It's one, it's, so there's 52 weeks in a year. So that's one video a week plus eight. So I got to figure out how to get eight more videos done in a year. So I, f I really feel like 60 actually isn't that bad, but that's my goal is 60 videos. And I'm just going to, you know, try to get better and better every video. And then the following year, it's going to be a hundred, hundred videos uh, for that year. That'll be my goal is making a hundred videos. And hopefully within that amount of time, I'm seeing growth. Um, there's, there's some issues with YouTube and, and, uh, as far as uh, the, the COPA, I believe it's called, whenever, I, I've heard some people complain about it that before the, the, this came into effect, um, you know, they put videos out there and they got all kinds of views, but then they started putting videos out there and, and they had to put in, put, click the box that said, uh, said not for kids and they've lost a lot of views, whatever that means. I feel like uh, a lot of people are taking a hit on that. So, you know, there's always going to be challenges, but that kind of weeds out uh, a lot of people too. You know, you got to think like if you're right now, if you're wanting to do a YouTube channel in 2020 and you're up against, you know, a million people that are trying to make a YouTube, that might knock out 
you know, a hundred thousand people that are like, I ain't even going to deal with this stuff. YouTube's not what it used to be and give up that much quicker. Also by staying consistent, you get, you're, you're, you're breaking through the noise, right? You're, you're staying consistent and giving yourself a chance. You're breaking through the noise. So, so whenever you first start, you know, you might only get 20, 30 views here and there. Um, and maybe, maybe one that has a hundred, then you might get one that has a thousand and it moves up and up and up and up, you know, by giving yourself that chance and staying consistent, you're, you're seeing an increase in views and you're breaking through the noise. That's the hardest part of starting is, is nobody knows who you are. And quite, quite frankly, they don't really care who you are until you start breaking through the noise and, and basically capturing one person at a time, if not more. So that's kind of the goal is just give yourself a stamp chance stay consistent and then uh, moving on to the next uh, topic that that will really increase your your videos is uh, is starting strong so whenever you start your video you say hey guys are you interested in this well in today's video I have the information that you want stay tuned see how I did that like I wasn't like hey what's up guys uh, so today we're gonna be doing this and uh, I hope you like you know or I was I was I was direct I was precise and I said hey guys in today's video this is the information that you want so we're gonna be covering that coming up right after this like you know I, I mean I'm keeping you engaged because you're like oh that's the information that I'm looking up and he's gonna talk about it so I'm gonna stay engaged so that that increases your engagement level that that's by starting strong so so I really suggest by like using that utilizing that that example uh, toward your own benefit and, and really starting strong. Uh, the next thing guys is at the end of your video, trying to keep the engagement. So for me, I have, I have about 20 videos all together um, and I've changed my topics and stuff. And I, long story short, I'm trying to build a, a, a catalog of videos so I can start doing what I, I consider will be my favorite call of action. It's so simple, but it makes so much sense. So whenever you're like, guys, if you like this content, then you would really like this next video that I have right here. Go ahead and click this right here. Cause if you love this content, you're really gonna love that content. That's really gonna push people to go click that over there. Um, right now, mine's a little bit weaker. I do, I do this as I go, guys, if you like this content, uh, you can expect more in the future. So go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I think it works, but I really love that idea of keeping your, your uh, viewers engaged by being like, click this video right here. If you like this content, you're really going to like this content. And that keeps them engaged to your channel. So you, you're getting more views down the line. And, and I really think that really, really helps uh, grow your channel. Uh, it's a concept that's not so much proven on my channel because, like I said, guys, I mean, I'm, I'm starting this stuff on my own. This is just research. Uh, as, as you'll find out as you become a uh, YouTuber, even the stuff that you're passionate about and you love, you'll find, you'll find times where you're like, I don't know what to talk about. And whenever that happens, you, you, you're just looking for things to talk about. That was something that I did here was I was like, hey, you know what? Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble, you know, the weather's cold and, and all this stuff. I'm having a little bit of trouble of, of creating content. So I'm going to put out like what I've been learning with, uh, with how to grow my, my YouTube channel in 2020. So that's the kind of content that you'll make. And you'll find that you'll do that too, right? Like you'll try to niche in something and, and one day you'll be talking about product reviews just because you kind of, uh, you know, maybe at a creative dead spot or you're just trying to figure it all out or you're trying to get the wheels rolling. I mean, there's so many reasons, but I mean, that's the, I feel like that's the truth of YouTube. I follow a lot of people that are in fitness and then one day they're taking me on a, on a, on a car ride talking about their brand new car that they bought, you know, and I'm like, well, that has nothing to do with fitness, but okay, here we go. You know what I'm saying? So I think everybody does it. I think every content creator does it and that's fine. That's fine to, uh, to kind of go outside your niche, you know, and, and always try to bring it back. Um, guys, this is the first video. So on Christmas, I got this painting right here. Uh, I love it. It's a beautiful painting. I love, I, I, uh, I'm from Colorado and, uh, you know, one of my things that I'm going to be talking about in the future is elk hunting. I really love this backdrop as far as this picture. My wife got it for me and I couldn't be more proud. So anyways, guys, I just, wanted to bring that up and thank my wife for for that picture but with that said guys i think that's about it 
You know, uh, like I said, uh, the key points is staying consistent. Give yourself a chance. Like me, I'm giving myself at least two years to really grow and see where this where this uh, channel can go. Start your video strong, and then uh, the end of call action, like this one that I'm about to put you in right about now, is guys. If you like this content, consider subscribing to my channel to get more content like this in the future. See how it's done, guys? So consider subscribing. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to.